That was a very good event last year. I saw the award to Azuma Nelson was, was nice. And Dr. Dufo as well. Yeah. Um, Amongst but, Joyce Ayi as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dr. Joyce Ayi, yeah. Very, very good event. And uh, so that was what? A Guba Awards night. That was the Guba Awards celebrating Ghanaian excellence and people that provide a service to the Ghanaian community. Um, you know, Guba has been going on for five years mm -hmm. and it was a major event for us. And so we wanted to honor people that have made great contribution to Ghana. Um, and so we did more of a Ghanaian people than UK based. Mm -hmm. um, if you noticed, it was more of people from Ghana, from Ghana who yeah, were on yeah, it, yeah. Wallare and the likes. And so um, I'm looking forward to organizing the, the, our sixth year which is going to coincide with the 60th anniversary next year. Of independence? Yeah, for the independence. Amazing. Yeah, okay. yeah. But this year, actually, we're concentrating on the Guba Expo. What's, how does the Expo work? Okay, so the Guba Expo is about promoting Made in Ghana products into the UK market. We did it in 2014. It was a great success. We did it at the Charlton Football Ground. Mm -hmm. And it was mainly just to showcase our talent. You know, Ghanaians are making shea butter products, they're making jewelries, you know, we have our kente weavers, we have juices that people are making, but how do they export it out? As you know, as a country, we import a lot than we export. Mm. And so we wanted to touch on that and see how we can get some of these SMEs to the UK to see how they can work with some of the companies in the UK. And so we decided to do it again this year. And so lucky for us, we've got the Greenwich Council Mm -hmm. who have partnered with us. So it's now called the Guba Greenwich Trade Expo. Mm -hmm. And so this allows local businesses to also attend the expo, you know, because the Greenwich are going to be inviting every single business that is in Greenwich to attend the expo, to see whether they can partner with some of these SMEs, to see whether they can buy, procure, you know, and so it's... it's, it's what about outlets? Say, the outlets are these exports. Uh, and you're talking so far of commodities. Does it include services? So that if, if I'm a bank, I'm a financial services provider, if... If I'm a maid Estate, farmer. yeah. Yeah, mm. estate agent. Um, it, you know, it's not just about the products. It's about the service as well. And so we do have the opportunity for other services, banking, you know, Hotel. uh, real estate, hotels, to come and promote yourselves to the UK market as well. Um, and who, is, who, is, who is bringing the UK market? Who are coming? So last year, we had Tesco. Mm -hmm. We had um, ASOS. We had some of these cash and carry um, um, uh, uh, owners um, who came to the event. And this year we, ha we have Body Shop. Now Body Shop, they uh, import so much shea butter mm -hmm. from Ghana mm -hmm. um, and other African countries. And so we want to see how they can, you know, merge with some of these um, So you're doing a here. match? Yes. Okay, so what are the various categories? So you have commodities, you have services, what are they? Can you list the categories? Um, so we've broken it down to beverages. Mm -hmm. Um, cosmetics, mm -hmm. clothing, um, uh, services. Those are main criteria mm -hmm. that we're looking at this year. Um, because like I said, we have Tesco coming back. Mm -hmm. We have Body Shop. We have ASOS, mm -hmm. Top Shop. Mm -hmm. um, we have uh, Co-op, yeah. Morrison's. No, um, we have um, Pax Cosmetics. They have over 140 shops in the UK and they do like um, makeup and hair and all of that kind of stuff and so there's a big opportunity for so it's like a trade fair yes and it's a trade exhibition yeah yeah how, how is it going to run is it how many days one day two days so we're doing it's a, it's a three-day event it starts on the 20th to 22nd of May so it's a Friday so the first Friday we're looking at how we can equip the SMEs to know about procurement to know about how you can get on the supply chain in the UK we have UKTI attending and speaking mm -hmm. We have, um, we're going to have a panel discussion from the likes of Tesco and the other companies that are going to be there. So you ask questions, how, how do I get on the supply chain? Mm -hmm. What packaging do I need to have? What barcoding must I have? Mm -hmm. um, you know, how to market yourself as a, as, a, as a company and even as a SME that's coming up. And so it's a seminar that we really want to equip the SMEs that are going to be there, who are based in the UK, who are based in Ghana, who are, who, who are coming over. And this year, we've often also opened up to Africa. So we have some Nigerian products that are coming. Mm -hmm. We have some Kenya, Zimbabwe, and South Africa. People are, who are bringing um, products as well, because we want to open it up. Um, and so there's a big opportunity for the seminar to actually get to connect with these companies and ask them, how mm -hmm. do we get on the procurement? You know, um, mm. um, yeah. So it's it's, it's it's a great event. And then on the Saturday, um, you can come 
and byproducts. And then we have the procurement managers who are going to be coming to each table mm -hmm. to give you advice to tell you whether they are interested. And also, um, last in 2014, we had um, Tesco went up to one of the companies and said, okay, you have 30 seconds, pitch to me why your products should enter Tesco. We have so many people lined up. Why is your product so important? Why should we have it? And to be honest, they have never been given the opportunity. They even know where to start. How do you, in 30 seconds, how do you sell yourself to someone like Tesco's? And so again, we're going to be doing that on the Friday to equip yourself, get ready, so that when they do ask you that question, you know how to. So there'll to, be some training going on? There'll before? be some training okay. workshops. Okay. And that to we're help them with their communication. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And then on the third day, we have the Greenwich Market to ourselves. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be selling to the open market. There's going to be a fashion show um, on the stage. We have a big stage, big screen um, to really sell to sell Ghana in Africa. Mm. That's interesting. Yeah. That's going to be nice. Yeah, yeah no, really it's going nice. to be nice. And, you know, Paul, in every country, you know, to grow as a nation, trade brings economic benefit. Mm. You know, we all know that. And so it's about time that we actually invested in our products. Um, and, and showcase them out and get them out and get them to partner with some of these companies over there. For instance, you've been to London, mm -hmm. Liverpool Street. It's all materials. How do we get the Kente weavers to also supply to the Liverpool Street um, sellers who are selling African materials? Mm -hmm. You know, so mm -hmm. I know that you're into sports management and, yeah. uh, and managing our footballers. And actually, even hoping to become a football association president in Ghana <laughs> in the near future. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> So if people have sports academy mm. and they have, and they are, I know there are a lot in Ghana, they're training yeah. footballers, young footballers. Yeah. Does this expo give them an opportunity to connect them to agents who can take them to clubs and help their training and help their future? Definitely. I think this year expo will concentrate on something else. But you can contact me directly and I can link you up with our agent that we work with. And they source young talent, fresh talent that we can take to Greece, Germany and the likes. And so if you feel that you have um, potential footballers that are going to be great uh, candidates for the future, you can contact us and then we can um, suggest the players to different um, agents. I, and I heard that this year's Expo, you're also doing the automobile uh, giant Cantata. Yes, um, yes, and, yes. And you're sending them over. Yeah. So are they going to bring in their, their vehicles? Yes, yeah, so we are in touch with customs to see how best we can bring the car over to the UK. Um, also, we have the bamboo bikes. Um, we have, I don't know whether you've seen um, Chocolate. Mm -hmm. He's a fashion designer. He was featured on CNN not long ago. He's mm -hmm. building a warehouse in Obri at the moment. Mm -hmm. And so we want to make sure that we take some of these products to show the UK that actually we're making cars now. <laughs> Mm. We've got bamboo bikes, <laughs> and you know, and the UK love things like that, especially the bamboo bikes. They'll think it's, you know, yeah. it's great. Yeah. You know, they'll love to purchase it, and so we really want to make sure that we take the best of Ghana to the UK. Uh, talking to you brings my mind to music as well, Ghanaian music and and Reggie and Boli and all of that. Yeah. What's going to be the the action in that area? Um, I mean, I supported Reggie and Bole. It was just a campaign because for me, as um, what I do, I promote Ghana. And so for them to be on a platform that 10 million, 15 million people are watching, we wanted to take that opportunity to make sure that we sell Ghana. And so that's why when they did their homecoming, we had our, um, our dua dancers, drummers, you know, support, um, Sherry and them, to have a look at our culture. Um, right now, they've signed a deal with uh, Simon Cow. Mm -hmm. Um, they're going to be released in their album very soon. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to be helping to promote that um, mm -hmm. because we, we are proud. Mm -hmm. We are proud. But at the Expo, we are doing a music session for mm -hmm. those musicians who don't know how to make money off YouTube, off iTunes. You know, sometimes... We're going to be telling them how to do be, it. Yeah. Oh, okay, so we've got iTunes come in. We've got um, um, YouTube people come in. Come in to tell them how to do it. To tell them how to load your video. How and put to load it your video. Oh, that's going to be what tags to put to get people to, you know, uh, kind of Comment. find your, yeah, find your um, music quicker. Mm. Um, so we're going to be doing all that for musicians. So we're working with Musica, um, um, mm -hmm. Obwo, mm. um, in, in getting some of the artists and the management. Because I don't think we have the right structures in Ghana at the moment in terms of managing artists. Um, and so there's going to be a session on that for musicians and the managers. Mm -hmm. when, when is the expo happening? Day. So it's the 20th to 22nd of May. It's in the UK. Um, the first two days are the Charlton Football Ground. 
and the last day is at the Woolwich Gordon Square. Mm -hmm. So, How do people register? So if you're in Ghana, you can go to the AGI office or Ghana Export Promotion. Go there, grab a form and register. If you're in the UK, um, you can go online to www.gubaexpo.co.uk and register online. We'll be in touch. Um, we'll, we're having a session where we actually look at the products. So we're looking at the products um, in a few weeks with Ghana Expo Promotion, TechnoServe, and AGI, so that we can advise on whether these products are actually work. What was the last time to register? What's the deadline? 31st of March. Okay. Oh, we're, we're, we're almost there. Yeah. Okay. 31st of March. Then, At the moment, well, we've had 24... Extension? Probably to the first week of April okay. at the latest because we have to do mm. visa procurements and stuff. So yeah. we have to and make get sure all that done, yeah. and okay. have all of that done. And so we want to make sure that that is all done in time before mm -hmm. we leave. Mm. Before and who are the big sponsors behind you that you like to acknowledge? Um, at the moment, um, we'd like to thank our partners, Greenwich, mm -hmm. um, ABN TV, Ghana Expert Promotion, AGI, um, Unibank, um, and Glam Magazine, mm -hmm. um, and Phage, and Ghana Commercial, um, Ghana Chambers of Commerce, mm -hmm. all of those people who are supporting us at the moment. But we're looking for other sponsors, so if you're interested in being part of the Guba mm -hmm. Expo, please do get in touch with us, and um, we'll see what we can do. So you have an office in Ghana that's running that's Yes, doing at the AGI that, office. How are the AGI? Yeah, Association we have our of own. Ghana Industries. Yes, at Trade okay. Fair. Mm -hmm. at Trade Super. Fair. When the Guba is over, what do you want to see? What are your expectations? I want to see um, some of our products that we've taken over. I want to see success stories. I mean, from last, in 2014, what we had, what happened was that we managed to get uh, Black Secret, mm -hmm. which is a, a makeup um, range. They've now registered in the UK. Okay. Um, and they are looking to work with Pax Cosmetics, mm. um, who are willing to stock some of their products. So we've had at least one success story come out of um, what we did in 2014. Tesco were interested in honey. Um, and a drink, um, or believer, that was based in the UK. Um, so they're still in talks to see how they can get some of the drinks in, in Tesco. So we want success stories so that it encourages others that actually last year this person went and they managed to get their, you know, their products into this. So that's, that's, that's the main thing that we're hoping for. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you so much for Cheers. having me, Paul.